Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at five of my favorite budget phones in 2021. But if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe, get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already part of the crew, salute. So the first device I want to talk about is the Bold N1. Now this device does offer wireless charging on it. It's a budget device under $200. All of these devices will be under $200. This one does have an AMOLED display as well. We're getting 20 by nine aspect ratio also. The Bold N1 does have a in display fingerprint sensor, which is a little bit uh, spotty, but it does work You know, once you get the hang of it. This is an AMOLED display with Android 10 on here, which is really nice. And one of the things that I did actually notice about this device is that I'm getting another update for another software patch here on the bottom. So let's just take a look at that. But this device does get another Android 10 new feature improvements and make sure that you have 50% battery life before you do it. So it sounds like uh, old M1 definitely like wants to help us out with this device. So. I am definitely a big fan of this device. This is like the, maybe the fourth update that I had on Android 10. On this device, we do get Gorilla Glass 5 for protection. Now you can see it is a, you know, it's gonna attract a lot of fingerprints and things of that nature, but on the back of it, it does have a, a really nice pattern on the back of it. It kind of reminds me of a, like a compact CD disc CD-ROM, how it would look when you put it in the light. So I really think that that's pretty cool, but um, it's just gonna offer a really nice overall, like really nice design on here. Now it does track a lot of fingerprints. And um, what's also cool is that it does provide a nice unboxing experience because you get a case, you get headphones inside of here, charging brick and everything of that nature. And we also do get an octa-core P70 processing chip on here. We also do get a really nice camera setup, which I wanna kinda show you right now. But um, what's really nice is that this processing chip does perform really nice when it comes to gaming. Now this is a 12 nanometer processing chip and I've been very impressed with it because there's very minimal lag when you're gaming on here. And also you get four gigabytes of RAM on this device, which is really cool, 403 pixels per inch with that AMOLED display. So I could definitely say I'm really impressed with this overall, um, you know, processing. It does give you expandable storage as well, so you can move apps to the SD card in addition to that. But like I said, guys, the cameras will be nice. You will be able to get some good detail on here with things like video. On the video mode, you get video, photo, beauty and more so you can see all the modes we get night mode gif capture 96 megapixel time lapse slow motion mode and much more so not only is that 6.4 inch display pretty good but the battery is decent on here as well we do get a 3500 milliamp hour battery but the main feature on this device is the screen display that's amulet and wireless charging as well now, another really cool budget device that's pretty exciting is the Blade V Smart. This one comes with the sandstone case on it, which is actually pretty cool. So you get a lot of grip. It, now it features a P60, Helio P60 processing chip. You get 128 gigabytes of memory on this device as well, which is really cool. You also do get a 13 megapixel for the front, um, a 16 on the rear with, um, you know, depth and wide angle and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Now this does come with charging brick and wall adapter as well with the case. So I think that's pretty cool that you get all of that included. Now the screen display is really nice on this device. It's one of the really nice things I like about it. It gives you a 6.5 inch display. You get a rear mounted fingerprint sensor on this device, which is pretty snappy. Let me just show you what the phone looks like. Now you can see it is pretty glossy on here. Now the phone is 6.5 inches, 720 by 1560 full HD. Um, it's another phone that's under $200, but also you can see it does attract a lot of fingerprints when you don't have the case on there. Colored power button on the side, volume rocker right next to it. Um, we do get, you know, Google, you know, Play Store on here, everything like that. Four gigabytes of RAM. This thing is really zippy. So I really like this device. 
Um, it's got Mi Favor skin on it, uh, which is the skin that they're using. Um, it's got a really nice battery, 5,000 milliamp hour battery size. So that's something that's really awesome as well with this one. Now, something that I really like about this device is the performance. Um, it does give you like a really nice DTS sound on here as well. You get like this DTS uh, audio on here, which is really nice. Um, I just really like that. I can't stress that enough, but, um, you know, they just provide you with, you know, that DTS audio, like I said before, so you're going to get really good sound quality on here. Um, everything is going to sound really nice, zippy speeds on here, like I said before, so you won't have any issues when it comes to that, things of that nature. So I definitely like this device for just like, uh, casual gaming and, you know, things of that nature. So, um, if you're looking for a device that's really affordable, but also has a really great battery life on it, I could definitely say this is a really uh, good device when it comes to, for the price. Also, the cameras are impressive. We're getting a wide angle, a portrait on here as well for a, for a budget device. That's really awesome. You also do get, you know, manual mode, slow motion, bokeh mode, time lapse, and much more on here. Next device we're going to talk about is the Rocket IO 3D Pro. Now you can see this does come with a gray smoky case, which is actually, you know, kind of deteriorating when it comes to the color of it. We do get this glossy finish on the back of here as well. When you put it in the light, you do get a nice um, ring on here effect. So it's like a uh, like an intergalactic ring or something like that. That looks really sick. You get these lines forming on it anywhere you put it in the light it's going to have a really good design and things of that nature now this is another killer device that's actually going for a hundred dollars like i said before 1080 display on this thing a fingerprint sensor on the back of it dual camera setup on here we get a, a glasses free 3d display which is is going to give you a really bright display um you can dim it to make it a little bit less bright and intrusive on your eyes um, but overall, it's going to be a really nice uh, 1080 display. Now, it does have a 5.99 inch, um, almost six inches, and we don't have a notch on here. And it's pretty cool. It does have a really good brightness overall, 64 gigabytes of internal um, memory, four gigabytes of RAM, SD card support on here, Android 9, the Helio P23 on here, which is cool. We, they did also include a 13 megapixel front facing and a, um, you know, a rear, a 13 rear and a two megapixel secondary with the eight megapixel on the front. Um, this thing does have a lot of sensors on here, including the gyroscope as well. Now I found this game, this phone very easy to use. The Helio P23 was pretty decent. It does have some decent um, speeds on here when it comes to like light gaming, but um, the display on here does look really bright and it does give you like a 3d look when you're looking at it without the glasses it might not pop out when it comes to games but you can download 3d sbs file movies on here and the movies will look like you're looking at a 3d movie in the movie theater without glasses on so um i really like that device for that it's something unique sort of niche but for 99 dollars, it's really cool that you could play around with it um, you know, you just got to Google 3D SBS file movies on the internet and you'll be able to find a library all over the place. So I think that's pretty cool. But the only thing is they take forever to download. They're like eight gigabytes, sometimes four gigabytes or more. I actually like the cameras on this thing. We get like night mode, super night mode, pro pose child SLR, which is going to give you that bokeh effect and we do get film mode which like makes it look like a strip like a film strip but when you take pictures with this thing they do get plenty detail and it doesn't get like the, the autofocus is really good even the video is pretty decent on here so you, you do get like a lot of different modes on here but um you know you, you do get some options here like uh z sd and um face recognition and you know things of that nature but i really do like this device it even does offer like this other camera up here which is 3d camera so if you want to watch the 3d movies that you take on this screen you can do that as well and the next device we're going to be talking about is the g9 the g90 from blue and we, we do get a lot of accessories the power brick headphones stickers a case as well as a screen protector as well so just 
a lot of different things that come with this package here. Now, I really like the case that comes with this guy. It's got this carbon fiber material. You can see underneath, you can still see the holographic finish that I'm gonna show you in just a second. So you can see it's a 6.5 HD plus infinity display with that U-drop at the top. Really beautiful color on the back of it. We do to get a MediaTek A25. You know, wide angle camera is gonna be featured on here. Fingerprint sensor as well. Uh, I really do like those wallpapers. Every time you change it, you do get a different one on the lock screen. Um, this thing also does have facial recognition. All the devices in this video that I'll talk about so far do offer that except for the um, Bold N1. Um, so just keep that in mind. But um, that's because it has the poppy self up camera. But this device right here is really solid in my overall opinion. You get a really beastie battery type C for charging on here as well. This device does also have Android 10 on here. Um, it does have, a, you know, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. So you're going to get some really good battery life on this device as well. 60 megapixel on the rear also. So I think that's pretty cool. 29, 20 by nine aspect ratio. Like I said, you get facial recognition and a rear mounted fingerprint sensor, which is actually really quick. Now, when it comes to the cameras on this guy, it's going to be really sick because we get a lot of features on here. So we're going to be able to get, as you can see, beauty mode and things of that nature on the front you get gif mode on here when i flip it around you can mess around with the diff different diff different features right here the videos come out sharp you also do get the wide angle option for that as well so when you go to videos you can see that that looks really clear when i'm just looking at it pictures gives me the wide angle like i said before so i could take pictures with the wide or the regular mode. Then we got other modes in here like Pro Mode 96 megapixel, like the Bolden one, slow motion, HDR mode, Pro Mode, GIF mode, Night mode, and things of that nature. But I'm really happy about this device and so far using it in 2021 as well. It does have pretty decent audio on this device, but it's only Bluetooth uh, 4.0 or 4.2. So it's not gonna give you the best Bluetooth connection on here, but the speakers do sound plenty bright. 270 pixels per inch on this device as well so i definitely think it can get plenty loud on here what's nice is we can move the sd card support games to the sd you could go ahead and move those to the sd card as well we do get two sim card slots for nano on here i believe as well so you can see the triple camera on here set up which is really ill because it's only under 200 dollars phone so i definitely think that's pretty sick because we're getting that eight megapixel wide angle dedicated and the two megapixel for portraits on here. So um, I really like that setup that they did on here. Like they gave you that really modern camera setup on this guy. And um, it's also just a really snappy chipset when it comes to the four gigabytes, uh, the RAM that it's offering on here, everything of that nature. So, you know, I really do like that. But, um, you know, the screen does look really nice as well. It's 270 pixels per inch. So, you know, pretty decent quality, 64 gigabytes of RAM and four gigabytes of internal storage. Another really cool device that we have under $200 is the LG Stylo 5. Um, it does have updates on here, Android 10, things of that nature. Um, but just a really nice um, phone for under $200, we get stylus support on here. So um, I think that's pretty cool for taking notes and for you know multitasking and maybe even doing a little bit of sketching on this device we do get a 3500 milliamp hour battery which is pretty cool we also do get a 6.2 inch display with a notification light up top fingerprint sensor on the back power button on the right your volume rockers all the way around here um you know your headpiece here which is single firing speaker but we do get a uh, type c on this device as well um, you know it's just going to be really nice for you know doing some sketching using the pen for you know different different tasks and things of that nature but i do like to sketch on here and you know do some drawing you know things like that but you definitely can get some sketching done you can get uh some notes done you can take uh make some lists some shopping lists things of that nature. Uh, I definitely think it's going to be pretty good for that. But, um, you know, it's definitely a cool device overall. It has a really beautiful display on here. We do get a 6.2 full HD display on here, 
it's only a year old we get dts x audio snapdragon 450 for this device as well now just keep in mind you could only use the dts audio for you know headphones with the headphone jack but you know this device will give you some pretty decent performance overall with the snapdragon 450 you can do some light gaming on this device it also has some pretty decent multitasking and things like that but um you know i definitely like this device. i kind of wish i had one more gigabyte of ram on here which would would have been cool but um you know they didn't include that they gave you three instead of four but um you know overall it's a really cool device because we do get stylus support for under 200 bucks and we do get android 10 on here as well now when it comes to the cameras on here they're just okay you will have to have a lot of light on these but they do give you the ai camera on here and you could do get a, only a few options like food jump uh cut and things like that but um this thing does only have a single camera on the back which is you know pretty decent but let me know what you guys think down below and i'll get right back with you later groupies